Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Well, it's Friday, so it must be time to cut the tape. Today, we're going to spend the day with Bumblebee. Let's begin. So, I really love licensed goods. Stuff like this. So, this is apple juice. I probably wouldn't drink this juice. This one expired 2019. This one expires 2021. They're both inspired by the RID 2.0, Transformers Robots in Disguise, post-prime follow-up TV series. This one's got strong arm on it. This one's got Bumblebee, but they're different packaging. What is this is the drink and play it has drink and play here on the side. This one's got drink and play over here. So there obviously was a refresh at some point. So you notice that drink and play, drink and play. This is obviously the older one. I didn't know this existed until I want to say Two years ago, I found this in the clearance section of a Walgreens, and it was the only one. And I never, never been able to find anything else on this. So I'm not going to open this one. This one's my keeper. This one, put that over here. This one, I bought the other day. In fact, I bought four of them. So I'll keep one sealed. I just found this in Walmart. It was in the uh, drink section. Now, the drinks that they're selling have like a little character on top, like a pony or a Star Wars character. Uh, no Transformer guys. But these were pushed all the way in the back. So at some point, somebody just said, screw it. They pushed these back and put the new stock in front of them. However, I checked the expiration date, and they don't expire until the 21st, 2021. But I'm dying to find out what the toy inside looks like because I've never been able to find any information on these. So, we're going to find out what's inside. I'm going to take a knifey bit knife face here. I'm going to cut him open. And you know what? I just randomly cut there, and it actually says open here. Right where I cut. So, it's perforated. So, I guess you want to start at the bottom so you can get the toy out. Because, as a kid, that's the first thing you want to do. All right, so the bottle is molded in a way that this little Kinder Surprise-like container is on the inside. Now, this looks really, really close to a Kinder Surprise container from a European egg. Usually what you do is you squeeze the sides and it pops open. This might even be the same container as a Kinder Surprise egg from Europe. All right. Ooh, nice. It's Grimlock. So, you know what this goes with? This goes... Oh my gosh. This goes perfect with these little things. These are the uh, little Hershey Kiss um, Transformers I found at Walmart. This is like the same size. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And there is paperwork inside, so they will be... Oh, my gosh. This is going to kill me now, trying to find it. Oh, my gosh. This is going to kill me. There are ten different characters. So, there's five figures and then five busts. All Autobots. Optimus, Strong Arm, Sideswipe, Bumblebee, and Grimlock. So you get the heads of the characters, and then uh, little figures. Wow. 
And the apple juice, let's give it a try. That is very watered down apple juice. Um, it doesn't even taste like there's any sugar inside of it. But you know what? I got two more of these I'm gonna open because I'm keeping one sealed. So I'll give the juices to my kids. I just really want to see what the toy is inside here. All right. But there's... <laughs> All right. Sideswipe. Perfect. We got Grimlock, we got Sideswipe, two figures. Let's hope for a little bit of change and we can get a bust. As in one of the head busts. All right, yeah, you know what? Looking at this, I think this is the same little mechanism that's inside the Kinder Surprise. Last one. Toy inside. They're not kidding. Oh. Mmm. I cut the bottle on this one. Mmm. We'll pour that into a cup. Who did I get? It's strong arm. Nice. Nice. So now I have three. <laughs> Three, three out of the ten. So if you do the math right, that's a lot of heartache I have to go through now in order to get the rest of them. All right, let me just uh, reset here for a second. Okay, so that's a lot of heartache I have to go through in order to track down the other ones. I've never been able to find these on eBay. Should probably check Amazon. Very nice. These go perfect with the um, world smallest as well. Yeah, this is great. I'm, I'm really happy with these. Finally, I thought I'd never be able to find another one. Um, another one of those bottles. I've been hanging on to this for years, never wanting to open it. At least now I know what's inside. And I, w I bet you it's still the same. Even though this is like a redress of the bottle, I bet you it's still the same product inside toy wise so i said bumblebee today is bumblebee day and i've got a bunch of stuff here a bunch of bumblebee stuff that i need to open i've never opened a cyberverse legend let's start with bumblebee oh actually yeah you know i didn't even cut this this is just how it came i didn't even cut that actually i have these are the um yeah, I bought one of them that I opened. I mean, I have I have them all, but I bought one that I opened, and I'm like, this doesn't turn into a car. And it took me a second to realize that, oh, it doesn't turn into a car. It's got all the parts to turn into a car. So this has, like, actual spinning wheels on the doors and on the legs, but it doesn't actually transform into a car. It's got like a weird hybrid target master. So, I mean, there is a car mode there. But it's not like a, it's like dumb stealth tech. You remember that? Stealth force. Is that it? Whatever we did in the third movie. God. Seems like a lifetime ago. I do love these spin joints uh so i'm not a fan of uh, of the rid but i guess if you're a kid it's okay my disappointment is that it doesn't fully transform into a vehicle it just kind of becomes um convert to activate sting shot but i don't need to convert it in order to activate the sting shot
You know what? I paid five bucks for this at uh, Marshall's. It's fine. I, I mean, it's it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's move on to one of these. Now, originally I wasn't into these. Uh, rescue bots. But the more diversity of characters and the more they continue to redress, rescan characters, the more interesting it becomes to me. Because this is a good jumping off point for Transformers for kids to get into. I've had this one for a while, so I think right now they're on... Uh, Rescue Bot Academy, and that's about to end, I think. So I've, I've had this one sitting around for a while. This is uh, Bumblebee Cody 2-Pack. I assume this is Cody. Bumblebee Rock Rescue Team. I don't know what a falcon or a tiger have to do with rescuing rocks, or why rocks would need to be rescued. But here it is. I guess the, does the falcon turn into anything? Oh, I guess the, ti the tiger becomes a rescue vehicle or a crane. So, uh, younger kids, uh, toys are packaged like this where they can touch them because they feel tactile contact is important rather than being fully encased in, uh, in a box. And it's very rare these days that you see a non-window box. Uh, I think Scorponok, I think the Titans are non-window box. They're solid boxes. This is actually the first human I've opened from Rescue Bots. I just, I haven't had a lot of time to open my rescue bots all right so this bumblebee's been packaged uh individually but now it's in the gift set as well i think he comes uh, i think there's a couple different colors for this one pretty simple you know what this reminds me of it almost reminds me of like the g2 auto rollers so bumblebee is a dune buggy when we were pitching uh, part four of the movie, there was a, a dune, uh, not a, it was like a small SUV, um, think of like a compact SUV, there was like a Dodge concept, it never came to fruition, but we used that image and we photoshopped it to look like Bumblebee with the black and yellow stripes. So we have our tiger, does a lion, does the lion have a name? No, the lion does not have... Again, there's no, like... There's no IP. There's no... There's no story to this. It doesn't tell you Bumblebee is a heroic Autobot from this point. It doesn't give you any of that. It's just, hey, here's a toy of a robot. I guess his name is Bumblebee. Why would a robot be named Bumblebee? But he, he transforms, and he's a good guy, but... You wouldn't know that from looking at the packaging because the packaging doesn't communicate that whatsoever. All right, so we have our tiger, a lot tiger, our lion, and he's a shell former. And he becomes a little crane thing that. goes on the back. Hey, there it is. And then Cody comes along, and he's like, hey, I'm Cody. I'm too good for WWE. I'm going to start my own thing with hookers and beer. You know what? Forget the hookers and the beer. And that's how AEW got started. So this part goes there and we have Cody right now who's like too big to even fit in Bumblebee but that's okay because it's a very young audience not targeted towards 40 year old men like me not everything needs to be and not everything needs to be G1 so hey Bumblebee doesn't need to be a uh, 
of Volkswagen Beetle inspired thing. He can be a Camaro. And this is a thing. Again, there's no communication as to what this becomes. Oh, so as a kid, I'm just, so just by looking at the instructions, I'm just supposed to know that these wings pop off and they go onto the back of Cody. They don't explain is is this Bumblebee and this is Cody. It doesn't it doesn't communicate that. So that's my biggest gripe. And it's a gripe because this is supposed to introduce someone into the brand. And not effectively communicating who the characters are and why they do the things they do. Why does this tiger become a crane to fit on the back of the of the vehicle? So is this guy Cody in charge? Is this is this robot not a sentient character? So none of that is communicated. But it is what it is. It does have five millimeter ports, so you could technically put a weapon in there. Let's see. Let's get. See. There we go. So she's like, you stole my weapon. And Bumblebee can be like... A lot of people don't know this, but R2-D2's voice was actually based off Bumblebee. That's a fact. Know your history. Hey, we have... A Bumblebee item. This is I've never opened a figure from the Bumblebee line. Except for the masterpiece. This this is... The Bumblebee toy line was not very extensive. I, I guess I have the Studio Series as well. But those weren't technically released as the Bumblebee line. They're part of other lines. So this is my first Bumblebee proper. I've got the Beetle. And I've got the Camaro. Let's go with the Beetle here. So this is Energon Igniters. So I press this here. It's got a little hole in the bubble. Let's see what it does first. And it just spins something. It spins a little bay blade, 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 blade like device inside that shell. Excuse me, Gesundheit. Eight steps. But again, this is the communication on the back of the packaging. You have your instructions. Okay, fair enough. But it's not effectively communicating what this does. It also doesn't effectively communicate why it's doing that. And there's no further paperwork inside. Please recycle. I do recycle all this stuff here. All right. So let me take a... All right. We have our igniter, spins around, doesn't light up. I feel like in the 80s there would have been sparks in this. All right, we have our bumblebee, very limited articulation. Let's transform him because it looks like this Energon igniter all spark cube of justice it looks like it's supposed to activate something but again it doesn't say it in words it, it doesn't communicate it in, in human language it just shows you 
badly rendered images. So According to the picture, these go underneath, but all right, let's try this. Does this plug in anywhere? Does this move the car along? You know, for a second, I thought this was going to be some kind of spring-loaded device. Alas, it is not. And I cannot determine how these go underneath. Oh, hang on. Hang on. There we are. All right. So we got them. We got that. This doesn't connect to the back. It doesn't connect anywhere. It looks like it's a five millimeter port here, so technically it can be held in the hands. His hands, of course, are not articulated, but he can't hold it, which means your other figures can hold it. I mean, kind of, it just weighs a ton. There's a little five millimeter port here, so. Okay. It's not spring loaded, all right. So what is the point of said item? Does it make it go fast? If I connect this here, and then I press down on it. Okay. So. It took an adult to figure out this child's toy because it doesn't communicate it on the packaging. So I hooked this up here, which seems to me might be a little too difficult for some younger kids. I put it on a flat surface. And it pushes it about three inches. And that one went a little farther. Now there's a whole assortment of figures in this line. I believe there's a, there's a Shatter. There's a... I think there's a Soundwave, an Optimus. There might even be an Ironhide. Well, that's unfortunate. I hope it didn't break. It just looks like it. Yep. So he's got his cannon arm. He's got this arm. This goes in here. It almost fit. It doesn't quite fit. It doesn't fit. It's a five millimeter peg. The hand is a five millimeter hole, but it doesn't fit. That's how it fits. It does plug into the back like that. Well, you can turn it, I guess. Nope, you can't. That's how it fits into the figure. That is, um, that is unique in the world of Transformers. This reminds me of 
if jump starters were lame. Think about that. If jump starters were lame. It's kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. Honestly, the most exciting thing I've opened tonight are these little free toys that you got with a bottle of apple juice. And I didn't even get Bumblebee. Well, they can't all be winners. But we did cut some tape. We opened some stuff. It looks like all the Energon igniters are the same exact piece across the line. Which means they should be universal. They are universal then. I don't know why I was expecting something more for this. Because I... Th you know what it was? It's the, it's the wider packaging that to me implied value. That's where they got me value was implied but for value's sake I got more out of this set even though this set was $15 it was originally a $20 set I got it on clearance for $15 I feel like I got more value for this for $20 I wouldn't have been too happy about this buying it and giving it to a kid uh, and this for $5 on clearance, I also am not crazy about it. But with that being said, hey, we've, uh, we've opened some, I mean, we didn't cut any tape. We just kind of cut some, some string, but hey, we cut something and I cut my hair and I cut my beard. Casey, did you cut anything? No. No, she didn't cut anything. Um, hey, have some apple juice. The bottle's broken, so you gotta, like, drip it into your mouth. Okay. Yeah, have this one, then. All right. Email us at tftalk.net. Uh, cut the tape at tftalk.net. Check us out on the TF Talk Network. Mondays is TFYOP. Tuesdays is Microcrasters. Wednesday, Ouch My Wallet every other week. Thursdays, you get nothing. Fridays, you get me. And then occasionally, you get Mr. Starscream on the weekends. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'll see you next week. Maybe.